and on to probably the most important Asus store you guys have talked about the very first time that we talked about both on Let's Compares, on YouTube, on Span, on all of those different places, the Nimbus Store series. Now, a few little corrections from the previous videos, it's a two and a four bay device, but they do have different CPUs. The two bay utilizes the J4005 CPU, a dual core version of that CPU we talked about before, whereas the four bay arrives with that quad core, the 1.5 gigahertz CPU that can be upgraded, um, that can be burst, I should say, further per uh, core. Now, what's interesting about these devices and when it was first announced, for those that aren't on the know, that have only just found out about the Nimbus store, what's wrong with you people, um, is the ports here on the rear. These two devices have got these two LAN ports on the rear that are more than they seem. They are 2.5 GB ports. Now, with companies like Quantia producing further and further improved controller chips that allow people to take advantage of speeds beyond 1 GB, but not the dizzying heights of 10 because of the expense, the idea of a 2.5 GB port is exceedingly attractive. And the fact they've included two ports means that by link aggregation, you have the potential for 5 gigabits per second connectivity. Now, for those that have 10 gigabit Ethernet environment, that means you've got a nice scalable amount of storage within your environment. You can take advantage of those 2.5 GBE ports. Now, if you do run a 10 GBE network switch, and you've got a mixed level of ports and switches or an adaptable switch. That means you can take advantage of those 2.5 GBEs in your network environment and not sacrifice too much for the rest of your network environment in those connected devices. Now, the chassis takes a very similar design role to that of the AS40 series released last year. And the, this new series, the Nimbus Store, the AS52, depending on what you want to call it, but you know, it's up to you. Um, use that same chassis with the magnetic removable front panel that I'll be honest, I didn't know was magnetic and nearly destroyed a unit about two minutes ago. It's got um, easy to remove trays, although these aren't lockable. They are plastic in design and they're click load. So again, toolless in design. See if I can get that in there without breaking the device and we're all going to be happy to know. We've got a front mounted USB port and again on the rear it's worth mentioning that HDMI port, HDMI 2.0A, that means 60 frames per second 4K and if you do have a 4K 60 frames per second visual device you will see the benefits of that and again it's a very well contained device and given that flexibility of CPUs with the dual core and the quad core between the two bay and the four bay devices there is an element of choice open to a number of new users out there which leads me on to the software. Now the software is a version called ADM that I used to have been using for a while but it's a very special version that arrives with this device. It's a lot more gamer inspired, it's a lot more colourful and vibrant for you people out there and you are going to be utilising a NAS in your storage environment, again for gaming because we've already shown on the channel previously of link aggregation 5GB and 10GB link aggregated environments running things like Steam for gameplay across the network which can work as a viable alternative if for storage and budgets for gaming, this is exceptionally important. And once you really bowl in with that, the size of games these days, this gentleman here that wants a walk through, it's totally fine. Um, and you've got RAID as well, which means you you can download all those games from things like Steam, not have to worry about when the Steam store goes, no, no, you can't have them anymore. And with RAID connectivity, uh, sorry, RAID configurations, it means that you're protected from drive failure, along with things like network backups, USB backups, and off-site third-party cloud backups as well. It's all rolled into that package with that device, and that's why it's been, they've got a really good angle with gamers on this device. Indeed, in a later video, we are going to show you games running off of this NAS using this setup here and this gaming rig. But otherwise, we're going to wrap things up here. Do check out the NAS Compare article and the Span.com link in the description for the most up-to-date information on this device. And otherwise, I will see you on the next video.